This video will demonstrate how to carry out the most important tasks on the PRCA CPD online platform. Carrying out these simple tasks will enable you to complete the PRCA CPD program. The CPD program is based upon recording, reviewing and providing evidence for activities. Activities can either be personal or shared. Shared activities are events and activities submitted to the PRCA by its CPD partners, which have been uploaded onto the site. Personal activities are both those which are more individual in nature, such as reading or writing a PR blog, but also group activities that have not yet been submitted by CPD partners, and therefore will need to be uploaded by the user. To add a personal activity, highlight the Activities tab and click Add Personal Activity. You will need to fill in all the sections indicated with a red asterisk. It is also helpful to provide a short description in the details box. For guidance as to how many points to assign the activity, please refer either to the help button on the right hand side or to the PRCA CPD user framework document that can be found in the shared resources box on the home page. Each activity will need to be supported with evidence and reviewed. To add evidence, click on the Add Document button. Assign a title to the evidence. Select whether it will be an electronic file or a URL. We do not accept paper copies. Select a classification for the document. If you are uploading a file, click Choose File and upload the relevant evidence from your computer. If you are providing a link to a website, such as to an article you wrote, you will need to supply a link to the website. Please ensure there is no space at the end as this will prevent the link from being accepted. We are flexible as to the evidence we will accept, whether a booking email, an email from an organiser or a witness, a screenshot and so on. The evidence needs to be relevant, however, and indicative that you have undertaken the activity in question. Once you have uploaded evidence, all you will need to do is review the activity. Tick Add Your Review at the bottom of the page. You only need to complete the review box for which there is a 50 word minimum. Your review should be reflective of what you have learned or how you have developed, not just descriptive of what took place. If you wish, you can add the activity but choose to provide the review later on and I will explain how to do so later in this video. Click on Add and then you will have successfully added the activity. Subscribing to a shared activity is even easier. Highlight the Activities tab and click on either Available Shared Activities or Past Unsubscribed Shared Activities. The former lists upcoming activities, the latter activities that are now past. For the former, click on the button and you will find a list of activities appears. You can filter through the activities by selecting a provider and or by selecting a time frame. I will do the latter as I will be in attending an event within the next week. I filter the page and then once they load I will select the relevant event. You can see that all the relevant details have been added. You then click on the subscribe button in the top right hand corner. Once the activity has taken place, because of course this activity is still in the future, you will be able to review it by clicking on Activities Awaiting Review under the Activities tab. If I do so, you will see that the events again appear. I select an event and click Edit on the left hand side. I will then be able to add evidence and reviews just like a personal activity. The system is exactly the same for past shared activities, except that you do not need to wait for the event to take place before reviewing because, of course, it already has. Thank you for watching this instructional video. If you still have questions, please email training at prca.org.uk.